Coach Nate from Grapevine CrossFit. And today I want to discuss a question that's going around the whole CrossFit community. And I want to answer it in a way that's a little bit different than how other people answer it. And the question is, what is the Open? The Open's been going on since 2011. And for many, it is a place to do fitness. It is a place to track their progress. And it is what goes around with what Chase and Bill say all the time. It's the fitness fun run, right? So I'm going to talk about what a lot of people think it is, different ideas of what it is. And then I'm going to approach it from a little bit different perspective based on what I learned at the CrossFit Level 1 and what is still in Level 1 Training Guide. The Open is, first, it is a place for people to display and celebrate fitness. Their fitness that they've achieved through doing CrossFit and following the methodology through eating meat and vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch, and no sugar. By doing constantly varied functional movements executed at high intensity across broad time and modal domains. But that's the fitness that they've achieved through doing CrossFit and they get to celebrate it during the Open. All right, everyone gets to do that together. That's the joy, that's the, um, the fun part that we talk about as it being a community fitness fun run. All right, that, these two, basically the same. All right, in a place to display, and enjoy, celebrate your fitness. That's what the fun run is, all right? Now, what else is it? It is the beginning of the games season. So it's a games qualifier, right? Those are the two things that CrossFit Open is. It is a place for the community to celebrate their fitness that they've achieved through doing CrossFit. And it's a place for the best people in the world to try and qualify to the CrossFit Games to celebrate and showcase how fit they are and to compete to be the fittest people on the planet according to the definition of fitness. And that's what I want to get into next is what the Open really is. Those things are all true. It is those things in practicality, but what is it at its core? If CrossFit is constantly varied, functional movements executed at high intensity across broad time and modal domains. That's what CrossFit is. And what it improves is your fitness. And it's the only methodology and sport protocol in the world, strength and conditioning protocol in the world that is defined elegantly what fitness is. Stating that fitness is your work capacity across broad time and modal domains. This is the definition of fitness, and this is it. Your work capacity across broad time and modal domains. That is what fitness is. It's measurable, and you can repeat it through different tests, which is what the open is. The open is a test of your fitness. That's what it is. The open is a test of your fitness. But the L1 talks more about what fitness is. It talks about one of the definitions and ways to just showcase your fitness and the way CrossFit improves your fitness is through the sickness to wellness to fitness continuum. Okay? So over here in sick, maybe you have someone with 120 beats per minute as their resting heart rate. And at fit, you have someone with 45. At well, you have someone with 75. It's a classic example from the CrossFit level one. You can do the same thing with blood pressure, you can do the same thing with body fat, and the same thing with muscle mass, okay? It all fits somewhere on this continuum. So this is the sickness to wellness to fitness continuum. And doing CrossFit for longer will get you further over here on the fit end to mitigate and to push against aging and sickness and all the chronic disease that exists in the world today through lack of inactivity and poor nutrition. So if CrossFit 
improves this over time, the more you do it, and CrossFit improves your fitness, you can track it, just like we do in the level one. They have this great graph. I still have it right here from my notes from the level one, showing what fitness is, what it does, right here. This is your graph. This is your work capacity. This is your present fitness. Now, if you just started doing CrossFit, your curve might be a little bit smaller, all right? This is power, this is time. <clears throat> now, if you've been doing for CrossFit for 10 years, like the people at this gym, your curve is probably a lot bigger. If you keep going, let me show you where it takes you. You start CrossFit, your work capacity is very small. You do it for five years, you make it bigger. You do it for longer, you make it even bigger. And your work capacity gets larger and larger over time. And then as you age, yes, it's gonna start going back down. This is what we measure in the open. But what is this? This is fitness in year one, fitness in year five, fitness in year 10, fitness in year 15. What is this? This is your health. Your health is fitness across your life. Fitness across your lifetime. All right, this is what the CrossFit Open is. It's your yearly checkup to see how fit you are, to see where your health is progressing, to see your work capacity across broad time and all domains throughout your life. And every year you do it, every year you sign up, you have a measuring point to pinpoint where you are, how fit you are, where you fall on the sickness to wellness to fitness continuum. And you can track yourself throughout years. So someone like myself who started doing the open at the age of 18, and if I still do it through the age of 72, I'll have years and years and years to track where my health was, where my fitness was throughout my lifetime. Now, does that change based on how, how many people sign up? Yes, of course it does. But still, personally for yourself, you can see how you performed in similar types of workouts. You can track your health through your fitness. You don't just have to stick to the metrics that the doctor tells us every year at a yearly checkup. We can see it here in the open. So what is the open? The open is a measurement of your health. And you can measure it every year. We have a dude who just started at CrossFit Grapevine just about two weeks ago. He's probably 100 pounds overweight, and uh, he's been smoking for about 20 years of his life. And when he first started our fundamentals course, he couldn't keep moving for longer than two minutes, or else he'd have to stop and sit down, and he would begin to wheeze. He's two weeks in, and he just did a workout the other day for 12 minutes straight without stopping. He's gonna do the open tonight. It will be his first ever CrossFit Open workout. And next year, he'll be able to do it again. And he won't be in fundamentals or the foundations anymore of the CrossFit Open. He'll be in the scale division. And the year after that, maybe he'll be in the RX division. And he'll be able to track himself through his fitness each year, seeing how healthy he gets. It's not just about your blood pressure. It's not just about your resting heart rate. Those things are very important, absolutely. But it's about your conditioning. It's about your ability to control your body through space and to control load outside of your body. It's about fitness. It's about your work capacity across broad time and modal domains. It's about increasing your health throughout your lifetime. That is what the Open is really about. Yes, it's fun. Yes, it's a celebration of our fitness. Of course it should be. It's a celebration of the health we've achieved through doing this methodology. But it's more than that. It's your yearly checkup to see how healthy and fit you are and how far 
you've come. So sign up for the Open, do the workouts, and give it your all to see where you are this year, where you were last year, and to set goals of where you want to be for the next five years.